Lincoln has asked us to work with him to accomplish the death of slavery. No one's ever been loved so much by the people. Don't waste that power. This fight is for the United States of America. First of all, congratulations. You sort of had a good year. Thank like, you. Just before we get to Lincoln, how personally satisfying was it for you that Looper is such a hit? Were you shocked? Were you happy? I was delighted. Yeah, it's great to see uh, something that I, th I feel really deserves it, um, you know, achieve the success. And, and Ryan Johnson, who wrote and directed Looper, is, uh, I think, one of the finer filmmakers alive. And um, it's, it's great to see the good guy, you know, get what he deserves. So for Lincoln, you're playing Robert Todd Lincoln, correct? How much research did you do for the role, and were you able to find anything beyond just Tony Kushner's script that, that sort of helped you, you know, bring the character to life? I mean, I, I did do some research, but to be honest, anything I was going to do was going to pale comparison to what the research that Tony had done, not to mention the research that Daniel and, and Stephen and, and Sally and, and a lot of people had done. Uh, so I, I really found actually the most, the most informative thing was just my conversations uh, with, with those folks, with Tony, and with Stephen, and with Daniel. When you watch the film, it seems like his role in, in the story, at least, of the movie story, is to show how the, the, the weight of the war sort of um, is on the president. Did Stephen approach you and say, listen, this is what you're supposed to be thematically to me, to the film? Like, did you guys have those sort of conversations? No, he, he wouldn't speak about it in terms of this is what you represent. Um, he, he would speak about it in terms of this, you know, as, as a human being, because no one mm -hmm. thinks of themselves as a theme. We all have our own human experiences, and and, uh, and this is a movie that's, and I think it's a, it's a good question, it's mm -hmm. important you bring it up, because um, Abraham Lincoln represents so much. He's yeah. become this symbol, this icon in our culture, but he was also a human being. Uh, and this movie really shows that. It doesn't just show the, the deity, the angel that's on our $5 yeah. bill. It shows uh, a man who had to make compromises, who made mistakes, who had his hypocrisies and his flaws, as well as his virtues and, and strengths. And uh, I, I think that's important to see. You know, working with someone like um, Daniel Day-Lewis, he has this sort of reputation as being in staying in character all the time and being intensely method. Um, was he like that on this picture or would he, was he, you know, once the camera stopped, was it just Daniel Day? No, he, he stays pretty focused. I mean, it's, it's not silly. He doesn't think that he's Abraham Lincoln when the camera's <laughs> not rolling. But, for example, his voice, you know, his own voice is so drastically different mm. than, the, than the president's voice or the voice that he came up with to be the president. Um, to switch back and forth, I think, would just be confusing for your mouth muscles. Yeah. Uh, so, so he stays in. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing to see somebody so focused and, and dedicated to their work. Find out what's next in movies, music, and TV at hitfix.com.